Police is turning 75 years old while law enforcement agencies nationwide face a significant shortage of officers. KSP's recruit numbers, they're growing. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us how working to, a group, to grow a diverse group of troopers. 75 years ago, the Kentucky State Police was born. Three quarters of a century later, KSP is not only fighting crime, but a nationwide officer shortage. Things are looking good, though. The recruiting uh, team for the Kentucky State Police are really out there getting the job done. Higher wages and modified eligibility requirements have helped KSP in recent years. There have been noticeable results, the governor believes, specifically in drug seizures. For the first time since 2018, Kentucky has seen a decrease in overdose deaths. Now, there's way too many, but this is a sign of hope a sign of, of, of light, uh, and it's because of the work of tens of thousands of people. KSP has the largest cadet class in nearly a decade. Qualified candidates are still a priority, but diversity is important, too. In 1992, retired Lieutenant Colonel Robert Milligan became the first black KSP captain. We need to have more women in the, uh, in the state police force. We need to have more African Americans in, within policing, period, uh, to show our community that, uh, that, that uh, ethnicity is no hindrance to, to coming out and doing a good job. On this Juneteenth, I asked the governor about the timing of this event. He believes in KSP's diversity efforts. What I see from this state police is uh, uh, dollars and effort being put into that every single day. KSP hopes the next 75 years are as successful as the last. When you look forward, uh, there's a lot of things that we can still accomplish. In Frankfurt, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.